All right, guys. So welcome to another video for the Redmi K20 Pro, also known as Raphael and Raphael In. Now, this time we are talking about a slightly different ROM. I've seen this ROM a couple of times earlier, but I've not really gone ahead and used it. I did install it yesterday to give it a try and see what exactly is going on here. So before we get into the details of the quick review of Elytra OS, well, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. And we have a giveaway going on for our premium cases. The link is mentioned in the description. Go ahead and participate there. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so let's see what we have here. We have Elytra ROM S, Elytra OS Endstone unofficial. This is, of course, not official here. Android 12 L, build date is the 8th of May 2022. Now you do have some screenshots download. This is the initial build. It comes with G apps. Now it does say make a NAND backup be safe. OSS vendor and infinity kernel. Thanks to Gwen underscore telegram for lending me the PC for build. Support group will be made later. For now users can tag maintainer in the main group for any issues. Right, so that's everything that it says about the ROM and the moment you boot into this particular home screen, you will see it has a very, very different sort of a wallpaper. Although the good things here are it is sort of smooth. It's not exactly Soviet star on Siberia smooth, but this is definitely a smooth ROM. I have been using it since the last eight to 10 hours and I don't really have any major complaints, but I do feel that there are ROMs out there which have better smoothness. And considering that this is the initial build, I'm pretty sure that things will improve. Now the app icon animations are a little slow for my liking. If you, you know, go ahead and talk about the launcher in question. Yes, this is the pixel launcher. So I don't really see what is different as far as Elytra OS is concerned. This just looks like, you know, any other ASP based ROM. Now let's go to wallpaper section over here and uh, yeah, maybe let's choose a different curated culture wallpaper. So let's, what are we going to try today? Something, yeah, like this. So let's go with a green colored wallpaper here. Home and lock screen. So Monet UI is present. It's doing a splendid job, Monet UI. No problems whatsoever. Let's quickly have a look at Google Photos to find out if we have unlimited storage or not. So let's see here. Yep, it does have unlimited storage. So that's a good thing. Now, if we talk about the quick settings menu or quick tiles, whatever you want to call it, you will see that we do have a bunch of options over here like audio mode, compass, screenshot, heads up, ambient display, extra dim, dark theme, data saver, color inversion and normal tiles. You do have a screen recorder. I'm pretty sure that allows internal and external recording, right? It does have a ton of options over here. Show stop dot is there lower quality for smaller file size, bigger file size limit and all that stuff. So let's click on start for the screen recording. As you can see, the timer is running here. And yeah, the screen recording has started. And yeah, it's fe it feels similarly smooth. There are no changes as far as the smoothness is concerned. So no complaints with the screen recording. Now all will matter when we have a look at the quality of audio in this particular screen recording. And yeah, the screen recording has started. And yeah, it's me, it feels similarly smooth. There are no changes as far as. Okay. So just like other custom ROMs, after a couple of seconds, the audio gets cleared. So definitely the screen recording is working absolutely fine. Apart from this, you have stereo audio, mono audio over here, partial or full screenshot, ambient display can be turned on or off. And you have your privacy access tiles from Android 12, of course. Now, if you go to the about section, you do see this is Android 12 L with Elytra OS and uh, yeah, it's infinity kernel, April security patch. I think the next build can have the May security patch. And I did ponder around this particular ROM to see if I can find anything new as far as, you know, the customization menu and stuff is concerned. There is definitely, you know, no game mode that is included. I didn't see the option of thermal profiles over here. So this is very, very pixel experience-esque, you know, very, very basic ROM. Although it does have some customization of their own, which are available in other custom ROMs as well. So, you know, nothing major changed over here. You do have some pop-up camera settings over here with pop-up camera audio settings, calibration is present and things like those. Now, apart from this, if you go to gestures, you have system navigation, 
and you do have swipe to screenshot with extended screenshot which is present and it works fine advanced reboot is there so you know all in all elytra os is trying to be a very very simplistic rom over here but what really does matter is the performance as well for which of course we will go to google photos now the cpu throttled to 92% of its max performance which is great right and the max performance was 18041 gips along with the average of 17318 green across the board so the throttling results were pretty decent if we talk about antutu benchmark we got a decent score in antutu as well with this infinity kernel 545713 you can look at the individual cpu gpu memory and ux scores and uh, geek bench is where i was a little disappointed because i expected it to perform a little better but we got very low multi core score and a not so great uh, single core score so all in all this is a unofficial initial build of elytra os you can definitely try it you know safety net is passing by default there is no problem whatsoever with the safety net so your banking applications will not have any issues and uh, wide one l1 is present as well all in all elytra os is a step in the right direction but just getting lost in the mix of hundreds of roms that are available for this device let me know in the comment section what do you think about this particular update until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye